Good morning, I'm Ilka Oster. Morning, I'm Jo Drennan. And uh, we're always on the lookout for new and innovative approaches to uh, parenting. And Ilka, you're pretty excited this week. You found something amazing. I did. I have been following Vision from Mind Valley for over 15 years and have learnt so much from that organisation and really watched uh, it grow, like watch the Mind Valley organisation grow and how consciousness and the idea of being a conscious person in the world has really grown as well. And it's grown so much that now, because I know back then if there'd been stuff about parenting, I would have seen it. <laughs> but I don't think there was so much um, stuff about conscious parenting. So I was really, really excited to see Vision interview Ria, who has been a conscious uh, parenting coach and a coach of Fortune 500 companies and the UN for over uh, 20 years, uh, coaching around emotional intelligence. And the interview that I saw this week was absolutely uh, like brilliant. And for the first time, I found a, another parent that I totally agree with and everything that she said in that interview. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it is very powerful yeah. and can be paradigm shifting because there are some perhaps controversial ideas. And we've listed four of the uh, key points that we, well, we resonate with all of it, but yeah. uh, these, how, how do these four sound to you? Uh, one is that we as parents are always unconsciously passing on our own childhood to our children. Always, always, always. Two is to share, share far more with them than you ask them to share with you. And we'll be speaking more about that point shortly. Uh, three is to never ask your child to say sorry. <laughs> and four is the idea that kids should respect their parents is wrong. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so if this has sparked your interest, then we have the link to the video. So please watch it. Uh, the idea that you should share twice as much as you ask them to share with you. Now, this is about um, say, say something as simple as going to get your legs waxed if your kids are a bit older, like when, when my girls started to want to do that. Uh, instead of asking them, oh, how are you feeling? What's going on for you? And, you know, and doing that, what this idea is saying is that you can build rapport more easily and in a better way with your children by sharing a personal story first. And, and that would be like, I could share, oh, back when I first went to get my legs waxed, um, I was really actually um, feeling embarrassed. I was feeling like, oh my goodness, what do they think of my hairy legs? Um, and also I was, I was really worried about how painful it was going to be. So I shared, those, I shared that story with my daughters. Now, the idea of doing this is that it helps them to relax and them to feel like, you know, I'm human and um, I, I have feelings, of course. <laughs> and that um, and uh, but also I was able to um, move through that. Like I went and had the experience and I, I've come out the other side of it. So the kids get to hear all about that and it helps them to soften and then um, yeah, build rapport so that they would like to share something with you perhaps. Yeah. Um, yeah, a really key thing that they talk about there also is that we're not sharing so that our children can be our caregivers. Mm, we don't, important. we're not, yeah, we're not losing that, that hierarchy of parent-child and yeah, that's, that's a huge one. It is, it is a huge one. It's, it's really important that it stays solution focused because yeah, the healthy hierarchy is that the parent is responsible and self-responsible in even for their own emotions and for like everything about them. So yeah, definitely not about that. They do discuss that in the in the video too. So um, yeah, yes. so we were so excited. Yes. And we'd love to hear what you think of the video if you, if you watch it. Yeah, what's your thoughts? Please mm. let us know in the comments below. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and th thanks so much for joining us again. And we'll see you next Wednesday morning from Mooloolaba Beach.